everyone, welcome back to Buona Papa. Today we're going to prepare together a pasta recipe, a zucchini and feta pasta. One of the easiest one that you can prepare. And usually I prepare this pasta when friends with kids come because this is a super kid-friendly pasta that also pleases and appeals to adults. Let's start together. Bring a large pot with water to boil. When the water is boiling, add two tablespoons of sea salt and the pasta. Set the timer. Don't worry about the sea salt. It will dissolve in the water and the pasta will not be too salty. Meanwhile, grate the zucchini. In a skillet, add three tablespoons of olive oil and the minced onion. Cook two minutes at medium. When the onion is nice and golden, add the zucchini season with half a teaspoon of sea salt and cook for five minutes to let the zucchini release their water and reduce into a creamy texture. The pasta is boiling, it's time to reserve one cup of starchy boiling water from the pasta pot. Drain the pasta and in a large bowl combine the pasta, the zucchini, add also the feta cheese, half a teaspoon of lemon zest, mint leaves and mix. You can also add just a bit of the boiling water, enough to thin the sauce. And two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. Stir to combine well. Serve warm and enjoy. This is a lovely, lovely recipe. As mentioned, appeals babies, toddlers, and adults. <laughs> you might ask yourself, can I offer feta cheese to my baby? The reply is yes, with moderation. Feta cheese has a very high content of sodium. That's why we're going to add in the recipe, all together with other ingredients, just a small amount of feta. It's less than half of the quantity that you usually find in similar recipes. I would not offer feta by itself to a baby, to a six months baby, because the sodium amount is too high, but I would start introducing feta as an ingredient, like in this recipe, to babies starting from nine months of age. And then around one year of age, you can even offer to your baby small crumbles of feta by itself as a snack, but as always with moderation. Feta cheese is rich in good fats and your baby needs them in order to grow and build his, his or her body. And also feta is less allergenic compared to other cheeses made from cow's milk because feta is made with either sheep or goat milk. Still, if you want to substitute feta with another kind of cheese, you can do it. Well, you can either reduce even further the quantity, so move from half a cup of feta cheese to a quarter of a cup of feta cheese for the whole recipe, or you can substitute feta with either ricotta cheese or goat cheese. Can I skip balsamic vinegar? I'm picky about this recipe. My suggestion is that if you have a balsamic vinegar, it really makes the difference in this recipe. It's only two teaspoons, it's not a lot, but the uh, sweet acidity of the balsamic vinegar very well balances the saltiness of the feta and the sweetness of the zucchini. It's uh, the secret ingredient that uh, balances all the flavor. Still, if uh, it's not available in your pantry, I totally understand and you can skip it. How to store the leftovers? If you have any pasta leftover, you can store it in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to three days. Uh, still, I'm Italian, picky about my pasta. To be honest, reheated pasta is not very good because the pasta gets chewy, a bit sticky. So. My suggestion is when you prepare the recipe, maybe you already see that the zucchini sauce is too much for what you need, that's when you can remove the extra and store the zucchini mix as extra in the fridge for up to two, three, four days, or you can even freeze it. So that when you go on to do it again, this recipe, you simply need to boil your fresh pasta and the sauce is ready and simply mix it together with the feta cheese, the mint, 
and the balsamic vinegar. I really, really hope you're going to enjoy this recipe. It's easy, it's refreshing, and really pleases everyone. Remember to subscribe to Buona Papa if you want to receive every single week a new recipe from me. And for today, enjoy your pasta. Ciao, ciao, ciao.